Hello friends, Pastor Dave here for our daily devotional. Thanks for joining me on this Thursday. Seeing the total eclipse was a pretty amazing experience. It was the most amazing thing I've ever seen in the sky. But when you think about it, we ain't seen nothing yet. I was talking about the eclipse when my, we had the Agape School Chapel yesterday, and I, I talked about how amazing it was to see that, but then I said, there's going to be something that's going to be even more amazing, and that's that Jesus promised to come again. And when he comes again, he's not coming as a baby. He's not coming in a small town of Bethlehem, hiding out in a stable. He's going to be in the sky for the whole world to see. Matthew 24, Jesus was talking about it. And, and one thing he said was that we shouldn't worry about missing it or that somebody's going to tell us, oh yeah, he's, he's already come. Verse 26 and following, he says, so if anyone tells you, there he is out in the wilderness, do not go out. Or here he is in the inner rooms, do not believe it. For as lightning that comes from the east is visible even in the west, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. I remember back in the 80s, there was uh, an article, somebody took out a full page ad, I think it was the London Times, saying that Jesus came again and he was staying at a flat in London waiting for the press to come and interview him. I knew immediately that that wasn't true. It's not because I'm skeptical of any claims, although I am, but I know what Jesus said, that if somebody tells you he's hiding out in some room, or he's out there in the wilderness, don't believe it. Why? Because when he comes again, you're going to know it. For as lightning that comes from the east is visible even in the west, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. When he comes in the sky, remember the angel said he was going to come back in the same way he left, with the clouds. And we're going to be able to look up and we're going to be able to see him coming in the clouds. And that's a pretty awesome thing. I've seen some pretty amazing things. When I was a kid, we went out on the dock on the Hudson Bayou and we would watch the Saturn V rocket on its way to the moon. And now I take my grandkids out and we watch the Delta Heavy rockets fly off of Cape Canaveral. Seeing the stars and, and the planets and things like that, it's, it's wonderful to point them out to my kids and grandkids. And I think the eclipse was the most amazing of them all. But we ain't seen nothing yet. Because when Jesus comes again, with the armies of heaven with him, it's going to be the most amazing thing this world has ever seen. And the only thing important on that day is going to be, are you ready? Every time the Bible talks about the end of time, it's always somewhere right near where the Bible says that we should live as children of the light, that we should live as followers of God, that we should be living righteously. What do you want to be doing when Jesus comes? Where do you want your life to be hidden when Christ comes? I want mine to be hidden with Jesus. I want to give my life to Jesus and live for him so that when he comes, I can welcome him as a friend and not be fearful of him as a judge. Let's pray. Father, I pray today for all those who are listening that every one of them has accepted your offer of grace and that they are ready for that day, that day that no one knows when it will come, but it will come like a thief in the night. We don't know when it will happen, but when it does, we'll all know it. We look forward to seeing you, Jesus, because we're ready. Come quickly, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, God bless you all. I love you all. Hope you have a good evening, and we will see you tomorrow night, Lord willing, unless Jesus comes first. <laughs>